A number of years ago, the Ontario government brought in the Ignition Interlock Program. The Ignition Interlock Program is designed for people who either A, plead guilty to an impaired driving by alcohol charge, or are found guilty at trial. You do not qualify if it's impaired by drug, and that's an important point, so it has to be impaired by alcohol. And I'd like to review stream A, B, and C, and D ignition interlock with you in this video. Let's look at stream A. Stream A, the legislation says this, if a person pleads guilty within 90 days of their arrest of an impaired driving related by alcohol charge, they qualify potentially for stream A interlock. So you go to court and you plead guilty within 90 days of your date arrest. What will the judge do for a first offender? The judge is gonna take your license automatically usually for a one year driving prohibition. Now hopefully in advance you've negotiated to qualify for, for stream A interlock with the Crown. So hopefully the Crown then says, Your Honor, I'm not opposed to their application. In that scenario, the judge will likely say, well, I'm not opposed either, you can, you can apply. And then it's up to the MTO, the Ministry of Transportation, as to whether you qualify. So what you do then is you have to apply for the Back on Track program, which is an alcohol awareness program. You have to pay for that, and it's not cheap, it's about 650 bucks. You have to fill out a, a package of information with the ministry and apply for the interlock. Now, the device and the approval all has to take place within 90 days of the date of guilty plea. So the, so the Crown will, will send the information to the MTO, the clerk of the court, and then the MTO will hopefully approve you. You get the device in your car, so you can't drive for 90 days after your date of guilty plea, and then the device goes in your car for nine months if approved. That's stream A. Stream B, ignition unlock, is a similar program, different timelines. This applies to a person who either A, pleads guilty after three months after the date of their arrest or pleads guilty at trial. Usually, obviously, the trial, I shouldn't say found guilty at trial. Usually, the trial is going to be well after three months. What happens here? So for a first offender at the trial or guilty plea who's found guilty, the judge will, again, take your license for the mandatory minimum one year for a first offender and hopefully say, well, I'll let you apply for stream B. Again, it's up to the the MTO, whether the application goes through, and usually in most cases it will if the judge allows it. So the, the, the judge then will say you you're absolutely cannot drive for six months, and you can hopefully get that device in your car after that. So six months of no driving after your guilty plea or sentencing at, at, at trial, followed by 12 months of the interlock device. So that's stream B. Stream C is the old system we used to have before they brought in stream A and B. This applies to people that says, you know what, I can't afford the device, I don't want interlock. What happens to them? Again, they plead guilty or they're found guilty. First offender, the judge takes the license for a year, year's driving prohibition. They can't drive for that full year because they didn't apply for interlock. If they want to drive in the second year, they have to make an a application for interlock in advance of that year. They may say that they may say, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit out two years. So they can't get their license back for two years, or they could drive with interlock in that second year. It's their choice if the MTO uh, approves it. So that's stream C. Stream D is little known. You won't find information. It's hard to find information online. A lot of lawyers don't even know about stream D. Stream D applies to that situation where a person has a prior conviction for impaired driving by alcohol related type offense. The ministry keeps that record for 10 years. What happens there? So if that person, um, if that person pleads guilty or is found guilty within uh, 90 days of the date of their arrest, they can qualify potentially for stream D if the judge allows them to. So what happens there? It's typically gonna be a nine months absolute prohibition from driving where you can't drive, followed by 18 months of interlock. That's stream D. Quick tip again, which I wanna reiterate, it's very important. I would mark down 89 nine days. Do not, I pretend it's 89 days. The, the legislation says 90 days. I believe from a practical perspective and other lawyers I think will back me up online who've studied this that it's actually 89 days. So 
you may be out of luck if it's 90 days from a practical perspective. So make sure you enter your guilty plea before the 90 days are up. In other words, 89 days or before. And in a nutshell, that's the short version of what stream A through D ignition interlock is all about.